What's going on guys and welcome back to another video. So today's video is my building diet, a full day of eating at around in between 4,000 and 4,200 calories. Now that is at the lowest 4,000. So my macros that I'm shooting for are 250 grams of protein, 450 grams of carbs and 135 grams of fat. So I'll show you what I'm eating and then what the macronutrient and caloric breakdown of each meal looks like. But we're kicking off the morning with a five mile run. So we're going to do that. <laughs> Fuck, what took so long on that shit? Mm. Let's go. 4,152 calories. So we're gonna take today's run a little slower. I absolutely demolished lower body strength last night. So my legs are pretty taxed. They'll be even more taxed tomorrow. I always feel it two days after more than I feel it the next morning. Uh, but I just linked up with Ian and Yoli, got the headlamp out, so we're gonna go run. So why don't people achieve performance goals? Lack of discipline, lack of consistency, yes. But is it a byproduct of the inability or indecision to commit? The same thing applies to goals. Just like this build right here, you have to commit to a caloric surplus, you have to commit to the volume of training to build size and strength, and you have to commit to putting on some body fat. It's part of it. Morning run is complete. Five miles at an eight minute per mile pace flat in 40 minutes and two seconds. So now I'm gonna head home and make my first meal of the day. So the first official meal of the day is five whole eggs and then three slices of Ezekiel bread that has been toasted and then I have 100 grams of blueberries and one banana in here for some more carbs. And that is meal number one. I'm gonna shower and then head to the office. Little trick there, theater trick. Little theater trick. <laughs> Ice cream makes the world go around. Oh, you look familiar. <laughs> <laughs> think about it. What do you mean, think about it? Are you an idiot? This is, you, you have to have strawberry. It's a quintessential trio of flavors. Just keep reacting to me as I keep yelling at you. What's wrong with you, old man? You gotta have strawberry. Nice. Let's do one even more like, okay. we'll have the, we'll have the like, <laughs> you guys took a drink okay, of your latte. You know it was mine. This is part of the build. See, most people's bulking diet would be ice cream. Well, that's why it's called the build, not the bulk. <laughs> Strategically, intentionally, deliberately. Nice, one more time. A little more skippy. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, he's, built, he's burning too many calories for this build. Oh, dude, for real. I'm gonna get, get those calves firing. Ready? Yep. Two calves. Oh, what can I get you? Uh, you got eight ounces of ground beef and 300 grams of jasmine rice. Oh, welcome in. <laughs> Come on, bro. You look familiar. Do I know you from somewhere else? Now introducing BPN strawberry whey protein. It's delicious. And cut. Fuck, what took so long on that shit? <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Okay, so we just wrapped up the morning filming at All Things Kids in Georgetown, Texas. They allowed us to come in here, take over the store, and utilize the ice cream shop portion of the store. Uh, but we're creating content for our Black Friday sale that's coming up. And we're launching a few new flavors of current offerings we have. So we're launching a strawberry whey protein, strawberry electrolytes, and then a orange dreamsicle peak sleep. So today we were filming the content for the strawberry whey protein, but I have my lunch, which is meal number two, and the truck, my whole truck probably smells like ground beef and rice right now, but we're going out there, we'll show you what we're eating. Okay, successful shoot. We got lunch here, so meal number two is actually traditionally at about 10 a.m. So I have eight ounces of 85-15 grass-fed, grass-finished ground beef, 300 grams of jasmine rice, I heated this up before leaving for the shoot this morning in hopes that when I came back out of the truck, it was still somewhat warm, and it is. Uh, it's not bad, but eating food cold is nothing new for me. I'm used to it. You know, taking me back to when I was in the army, what I would do, say for like a range day, if I didn't want to eat an MRE, what I would do is I'd prep a meal the night before, throw it in the fridge, obviously overnight, and in the morning I'd grab that meal that was in Tupperware, and I would throw it at the top of my ruck. And then when we have lunch, instead of having to eat an MRE, I would just eat my like potatoes and chicken or rice and beef cold. But like, I wanna get this meal in because I know I have to eat another meal in a few hours. So if I have to eat it somewhat cold, it's fine. So I'm gonna throw this back really quick, drive to the office because we have meetings the rest of the day. Mm. So Black Friday is our biggest sale of the year every single year. It is 20% off site-wide. We are releasing limited edition apparel, new flavors, and this year it is from November 13th to November 16th. 20% off site-wide. November 13th. November 13th. November 13th. November 13th. 20% 20 off. 20% off. Biggest sale of the year. Black Friday, our biggest sale of the year. Biggest sale of the year? Whoa, 20% off. 20% off! 20! Let's go! 20% off entire website, November 13th. Site-wide. 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 20% off. Hey, uh, yeah, that's good. It'll get, it'll get cut up. <laughs> Meal number three is about to be made in this bowl right here, and it is the Daily Sludge Bowl. So what we're gonna mix up is one scoop of vanilla whey, one scoop of oatmeal cookie vegan protein. I'm gonna add some milk, mix it up into the sludge paste consistency. I'm gonna add a tablespoon of peanut butter, two tablespoons of honey, some cacao nibs, unsweetened coconut flakes, and then top it with this banana. Now this right here is going to be my pre-workout meal. We are going to train chest and triceps in about two hours. And there's very few things in life, in my honest opinion, that beat a very good sludge bowl. And this is a very good sludge bowl. I have at least one of these a day. Mmm, mmm. Banana, honey, peanut butter. Put those three ingredients on anything, I'll eat it. I'm coming home. I'm coming home right now. I'm coming home. I'm coming home right now. I'm coming best ways to build a bigger chest is working on upper chest. So at least throwing in one movement during a chest workout that is incline focused. So I'll either hit 
incline barbell bench press or incline dumbbell press. So we're gonna hang around between 185 and 205 for a few sets between five to 10 reps. triceps did dips, we did uh, cable rope extensions. Now we're going to do some diamond push-ups. What I like to do on these is really focus on actually flaring out my elbows. And when I'm at the bottom of the movement pushing up, I'm think, thinking of pushing these fingers together. And if you just think mind muscle connection, try to put everything on these triceps and as little as possible on the chest. So I'm coming down, I'm gonna squeeze these fingers together right there on the tricep. That's a workout. So dinner, which is meal number four, and my post-workout meal is 300 grams or a cup and a half of jasmine rice. We have eight ounces of salmon, some uh, shiitake mushrooms, some broccolini. The mushrooms and broccolini were cooked in, I'm estimating about a tablespoon of olive oil. And this is my fourth meal. Right now, it is about 9 p.m. I'm about to make my last meal of the night, which is the fifth meal of the day. And based off of my fitness pal, which is what I use to track my food and calories throughout the day. But one thing I did want to talk about and identify that I have experienced now that calories are higher and they're going to increase over the next couple of weeks and months is that I'm not always hungry for the meals that I'm eating. However, I know that I need to get the calories in and whether I'm hungry or not, I'm going to eat the food so that we keep gaining and growing during this build. If I were to just wait to eat for when I was hungry, there's no way I would be eating, you know, four to 4,200 calories a day. I just wouldn't, but let's go in and make the last meal of the night. So the last meal of the evening is this massive bowl right here. And what I have in there is two servings of this Good Culture cottage cheese. I have 100 grams of blueberries, 100 grams of raspberries, two tablespoons of honey, and then a cup, which is two servings of cinnamon raisin Ezekiel cereal. As you can see, I cleaned out meal number five. And to go over my totals for the day, uh, it was 459 grams of carbs, 140 grams of fat, 264 grams of protein, which equals 4,152 calories. But thanks for tuning into this video. If you enjoyed it, please like it, comment below, and subscribe if you're new. And we'll see you in the next episode of The Hybrid Build.